Hello Virgo, this will be your reading. It's going to be a general reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And like I said, it's gonna be general, so it will not resonate with every Virgo out there. I don't do personal readings at this time. However, I am starting to do extendeds. So if you do feel like this reading resonates, check out the link at the, in the description box. All right, if this does not resonate with you, that's okay. Just wasn't your reading this time around. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. I've been reading all of your comments and I just, I'm overwhelmed with the support. So thank you so much. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? These are meant to be general readings, but some of them turn out to be relationships. So we'll see what this one is all about. Messages for Virgo, please. All right, so time is fluid. So some of this, um, the situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future. So just keep that in mind. What messages do you have for Virgo spirit? Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Come together. This really reminds me of the Two of Cups card in the tarot. So this could be um, just someone that mirrors you in a partnership or a romantic union. So we'll see. Um, in this photo, there's two giraffes and they're completely identical. So definitely I'm getting mirroring. So this is someone that sees things exactly like you see them. You see a path forward in the same way. You see what you want reflected in the other person. Um, could be a soulmate of some sort or just someone that just gets you. Anything for Virgo, please. Unexpected visitors. Interesting. So this could just be someone that you don't expect to meet. Doesn't have to be someone showing up at your house. Storm warning. Wow. Who is this person, Virgo? And apparently when they come or they initiate contact or you meet them, it's like there's going to be some sort of storm that takes place here. Very interesting. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. Messages for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know now? I am going to be using terms like someone because um, I could be talking about you, Virgo, the person who you're dealing with. It could be a cross watcher as well because that's how energy works. So feel free to flip the roles as they resonate. Messages for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo, please. So we'll see. What does Virgo need to know? We got the world, King of Wands, and the lovers. Could be a Gemini that you are dealing with or someone with Gemini in their chart. Gemini is also the twins of the Zodiac, and so I'm feeling like the come together picture is very, I'm just thinking about the come together oracle a lot. King of Wands, this is someone that takes action. He is passionate, creative, eccentric, a born, a natural born leader here. And then with the world, I'm thinking the end of a cycle or the beginning of a new one. I am gonna clarify all of these, but so far this could be in regards to a partnership of some sort. Well, there's the Three of Cups. This could be an unexpected reunion. I don't feel like you're, you're gonna see this coming. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Wands, interesting. I feel like with the Nine of Wands in the world here, you're ending some sort of difficult cycle. Some of you are tired, have put up walls to protect yourself, or just a little bit paranoid about the future, about your circumstances. Um, Nine of Wands, he doesn't trust easily because he's just been through so much. He's seen a lot as well. Whoa. 
Thank you, Spirit. We got the Six of Swords. The Sun. Beautiful. What's the last card? The Hierophant. Okay. I feel like the progression I see here is some sort of unexpected reunion. A new cycle, a new phase of your life. Some of you could live at a distance from this person because I have the world and the Six of Swords. Someone's leaving a situation to go after their happiness here, something more balanced, calmer. And this could end in marriage here with the higher font, or it could end in some sort of contract, signing something legally binding here. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with, someone with Taurus in their chart, or possibly a Leo. I am not going to mention the signs that I see because every single tarot card has a sign assigned to it. So I would just be here forever talking about the different signs, but I will mention the ones in the major arcanas at least or anything that just sticks out to me. So, all right. So what is this about here? Let's start with the world. Tell me about the world. What's this about? I feel like something, something is, there's two people coming together here to either start something new with each other or just begin a new partnership of some sort this is someone that you see eye to eye with okay this is way too many but i'm going to take them i have the knight of swords here the page of swords and the eight of pentacles so right away i'm thinking communication regarding work or communication regarding um like I'm seeing someone that has been working on themselves. Um, I feel like someone has noticed this with the Page of Swords um, and they wanna rush in with a message. I feel like this message is gonna start you on a new path here. Um, Page of Swords, he also does research, he's curious. Um, he's not the best communicator, he's working on it. <laughs> I feel like this is fast though. I feel like whatever is coming your way it's going to feel sudden. Tell me about the King of Wands, please, for Virgo. What's this King of Wands doing here for Virgo? Tell me about the King of Wands, please, for Virgo. King of Wands, he takes action. Um, this could be you or the other person. Um, interesting, the hangman with King of Wands. So this could just be someone that has had some... A recent aha moment or spiritual clarity or some sort of clarity that they've received um, that has sparked action or has driven them to take action here tell me more about this king of wands with the hangman what's this about with the king of wands and the hangman please seven of wands interesting so someone wants to take action here I feel like the person that wants to take action is going to be either blocked or not received right away. For others of you, this person wants to defend this or fight for this. They want to take action. They thought a long time about this. Um, maybe they haven't been able to move just yet, but they're thinking about it. But I'm really getting this sense of um, one person being interested and the other person being very defensive, maybe not open. I feel like it could be because this is so sudden. I have the two of cups under the deck here. Tell me about the lovers. I feel like with the six of swords down here um, underneath this energy, I feel like someone is traveling or moving to see someone else. And that fits very well with unexpected visitors. Tell me about the lovers, please, for Virgo. What is this all about? For others of you, you're moving, uh, moving locations, moving jobs. Um, you've had clarity about something recently and you wanna fight for a better opportunity for yourself. Yeah, see, I have the two of swords with the lovers here. Someone's either not open or unable to see this connection. Tell me more about the Two of Swords, please. What's this Two of Swords doing here for Virgo? Page of Cups. Someone's not open to this connection or not open 
to um, almost like undecided stuck again I'm getting but this is someone with an, a serious offer here an offer of good intentions could be an apology as well could be from a, a water sign tell me about the three of cups I feel like someone wants a reunion or wants to celebrate something could be a celebration of signing something here a contract of some sort um, it could be a promotion of some sort you're celebrating here um, it could be an engagement or marriage here Tell me about the Three of Cups for Virgo. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Someone wants definitely to start something, the foundation of something here. Could be a new love offer coming in with the Page of Cups. Um, someone wants to reunite and work on something, um, build something. Others of you, this is related to work. Again, I'm getting that sense for um, a small number of you that this is related to work. And there's gonna be new ab uh, abundance coming in, like almost like a gift from the universe here. But look what I have under the deck, the Four of Cups. Someone's not interested. I really feel like someone is just not, yeah, like they're very uh, serious. They're, they're not really thinking, there's justice. Um, they're not really thinking about, I feel like they're not very open. For others of you, this is a legal matter. There's going to be an abundance, um, again, with like maybe uh, a job offer or some sort of decision that rebalances the situation for you. Um, I feel like some of you um, need more information before you accept this offer I'm getting. Tell me about the nine of, so of um, wands, sorry. Tell me about the... <clears throat> the nine of wands oh there you are oh my god hold on tell me about the nine of wands please i just saw the hermit card that while i was shuffling tell me about the nine of wands again this is very tired energy uh he's the wounded warrior but he doesn't give up all right so we have here seven of uh pentacles the devil and five of wands I feel like this has to do with the storm warning oracle card here. I'm going to actually read that because I feel like there might be a message in there for some of you. I'm not going to read all of it, but um, most of the message. Okay. This card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious, yet not fearful. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. So again, I'm getting this Seven of Wands and King of Wands energy here. I feel like a lot of you have looked at a, a situation with calm clarity here, just like the Oracle says. You're standing up for yourself and taking action to protect yourself. Here's what I'm getting. As with all difficulty, even the worst storm passes. I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you, Virgo, um, but not without some difficulty first. So I see here the seven of pentacles, someone that has been waiting for the outcome of something here. Um, some of you have been looking at the past and wondering if you invested in the right situation, the right person, the right opportunity. Others of you are just wondering if something's going to pan out for you, period. Um, with the devil here, sign of Capricorn, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting negative energy. I'm getting gossip and drama here um, just because I have the five of wands. So I feel like this is the potential difficulty. Um, and you're like in protection mode, but you're not giving up here. You're going to protect yourself. You're going to stand up for yourself. Tell me about the Six of Swords. I feel like some of you are just going to leave this energy behind just because this person, this card, has his back turned to the Five of Wands and the uh, Devil here. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. That's way too many. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. For, for Virgo, please. Six of Swords. What is this about? This is about leaving a difficult situation behind, going towards calmer waters, right? More balanced situation here strength interesting some of you are trying to find the courage here i have two two cards of leo here um the courage or the strength to leave a situation tell me more about strength for virgo tell me more about strength please 
queen of wands. Yeah. Some of you are, fine, are looking for the courage or seeking courage to go after what you truly want with knight of wands here. Again, that could be a person, an opportunity. Tell me about the sun. I feel like when you do that, you're going to be very happy, Virgo. Tell me about the sun, please, for Virgo. What is this energy? Thank you. Wow, five of cups. Five of cups wanted to come out earlier. Tell me about the five of cups. Why the five of cups? Completely opposing energy. Wow, that's why. There's the tower. I have justice under the deck. So this tells me that this had to happen to make a situation right again. There was a, a decision that had to be made. Um, there's been a rebalancing that has taken place or will take place because of this tower. I feel like this tower um, probably happened in the past or is currently happening and it has you very um, feeling maybe uh, sad, despondent, feeling like um, regretful. I'm getting that maybe you thought you did something wrong or you approached the situation the wrong way, but I feel like this tower is going to bring you happiness here with the sun. I really do feel that maybe you don't see that right now, but I feel like going after your dream, leaving a, this situation, this, this unexpected shakeup is going to bring you happiness here, even if it might not make you think of happiness at first. Again, the tower could be that unexpected visitor. Tell me about the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with here or someone with Taurus in their chart. Could just be um, talking about long-term commitment here. Magician and the Hierophant. Very powerful energy here with the Magician. This is all about manifesting. I feel like a lot of you are manifesting um, more order, more tradition, um, commitment, long-standing. It's like you, you, you're trying to invite this into your life something more stable and long lasting and there's the knight of cups under the deck tell me more about the magician what's the magician here about for virgo thank you temperance more major arcana this is huge change happening here sign of sagittarius this is again all about balance i'm getting um patiently waiting for the right time to act on something i feel like you 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 definitely have been thinking about this a lot virgo yeah i have eight of swords on the deck so definitely you've been in your head about this some of you feel stuck like you cannot move on this person or this opportunity um a lot of you have just been doing a lot of research working on yourselves working on your almost like setting yourself up for success here. Um, but I feel like this unexpected visitor, whoever this person is, is gonna bring you an offer. This could be a boss, a future boss. It could be a, someone that you're interested in romantically. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these readings general um, so that everybody can get something from them if I see it on the table. So that's why I'm mentioning it. But I feel like a lot of you are definitely gonna take action here. And that's going to lead you to someone you're going to come together with someone is what i'm getting i'll leave you guys here thank you so much for watching and checking out this video if it resonated with you please leave me a comment and let me know what this situation is all about if it didn't resonate with you please check out your other signs for more messages and i'll see you guys in my next video